Hi, Cade. Hi, Michaela. So this new game came out called Civilization VI, and it is awesome. So uh, there goes my next two weeks down the drain. He said, wishing that were true, because school is so busy. It's around midterm exam season here, or at least something like that. This week I had a test in calculus and social and ethical issues in computer science, and next week I have a test in discrete structures and advanced data structures and algorithms. And I know that you two also have a lot of tests because, like, I've talked to you about it. So good luck. And I know you can do it. Of course, there's also work. Hi there, and thank you for choosing City Brew. My name is Marcus. How can I help you today? You'll also notice that I'm the sheriff among these parts. And I'm also hot Java. And so, yeah, again, it's very busy all the time. I think this pile of laundry that needs to be folded is a good symbol of how busy life is. Had enough time to clean them, didn't have enough time to fold them. Uh, so, in this stressful time, I'd like to introduce an app that I found recently that helps relieve that stress. It's called Paper Planes, and it's pretty wonderful. Essentially, the idea is you just throw and catch paper airplanes around the world with people, like it says on that thing. Basically, all you do is you shake your phone to catch an airplane, and you caught one, cool, and then you can zoom in, and you see where that plane's been. Pretty nifty. Then you can add your own mark, uh, and you have a couple different selections just by tapping. I like that one. Represents Bozeman well. You fold it back up, you turn your phone sideways, and without throwing the phone, send it into the world. And there it goes. It's back in the world, flying with over 800,000 others. And that's it. That's about the game. You go through, you catch out paper airplanes, see where they've been, and say, oh, that's pretty nifty. Fold it back up after putting your mark and sending it back into the world without throwing your phone. That was a close one. And, of course, it doesn't just stop there because you can create your own airplanes, believe it or not. You basically just have a blank sheet of paper, add your own stamp, fold it up, and then you turn it around and send it into the world. Woohoo! There it goes. Uh, the whooshing noise, just going whoosh, that's optional. You're allowed to, um, you don't have to. You can also see the planes that you've had before. These are all the planes that I've sent out into the world. This one hasn't been caught by anyone yet um, because it's lame. However, this one has been caught nine times, and if I open it up, you can actually see all the different places it's been. A few places in Brazil, it's been to Oakland, and it's uh, kind of cool. Um, so yeah, and you can let them continue to fly throughout the world. So yeah, this is about the app. You just catch planes, and then you release them back into the world, and you put your mark, and you see where they've been, and it's pretty cool. And yeah, that's about all it is. There's no real point to it. There's no goal, per se. I almost like that about that. It's very relaxing to just kind of do things just for fun. And it's really cool to think that this paper airplane that I folded up was once caught by some guy in Brazil shaking his phone, left his mark, and sent it back into the world. It's a cool thought, and it's a cool app, and you should try it out. If you're on Android, I don't think they have an iOS version. Don't quote me on that. So yeah, that's all I have time for you guys. I do appreciate it. Kate and Michaela, I'll see you later to this weekend for more of this, another game that's taking up all my time. And I'm going to go back to studying. And if you guys enjoyed that video, be sure to share it on Facebook or somewhere. Or at least leave a like if you haven't already. Which you probably have. Not for me, for the app. Or the game. Bye.